so now let's move further so now uh, i can minimize first of all these two okay now i can i'll be getting one more route to list all the posts created by user just by that user right okay, who is logged in right yeah let's see how to do that right so in our profile in so in our profile page of the user we will show all the posts created by that user right yeah so this will be also a useful route right so uh, this will be also a simply get route right and let's say user will be a uh, client will be making a request to my post okay here i can add a callback request comma response and in this i'll make use of this post model and i'll find and i'll find the post right i'll find the post with this posted by and this will be equal to request dot user dot underscore id did you got that right okay so we are querying uh in this post model and with the posted i and this posted by will be equal to the id of the user who is logged in right okay so we will get the all the post of the user who is logged in right so here uh here i can again i need to add a populate method because you know just by writing this things will not work we need to populate this posted by field right posted by fields in order to expand that uh, this record right this particular field we saw that in a, a earlier right we saw that earlier that this posted by was just showing an id right so we need to populate that so we need to populate postd posted by postd posted by and we can select maybe an id and again a name right okay yeah so if everything went correctly if everything goes okay then we will get my post right my post and uh i can send a response then let's start json with my post uh that will be equal to my post and again you can see key and value are just same so i can just condense it down to my post if we got any error then we can catch that in the sketch block error and i'll console.log error okay i think this this should work right okay now we will make this field a uh, like a uh, protected oh uh, we will make this route a protected route so user should be able to log in in order to view his or her profile right so but for now we can test it right for now we can just test it by making a get request okay so i'll be opening my post man i'll be making get request to my post my post and right now we have only one user so we will we should be able to see these two posts so here you can see the id is same so this we have only one user as of now so should we create a new user uh, maybe right okay so we will be creating a new user right so let's sign up right so let's sign up uh, let's sign up so let's make a post request and to local host sign up and in the body we here raw right so let's sign up a new user so the name will be of ha huh, so name will be of ramesh or maybe suresh or hitesh let's say hitesh h i t e s t e s h and email uh, i think we need to write all this inside the course course as it this will throw an error okay and email will be of hitesh at the rate abc dot com and p a w s w r d password will be One two three four, like so. Okay, 
let's send this request please add all the fields let's say what is missing maybe inside this header i need to add a content type c o n uh, content type and applications a application slash json so this might be an error let's send this one more time and we should see a message saved successfully okay so now we can make a get request right to my post yeah so i think we should sign in and then we should make a request right okay first uh, first we need to create post right with that user right okay so let's create a first create a post so again we will be making a, a request so maybe let me find the create post or first i need to in order to create the post i need to first I, I, there are so much of the tabs opened i'll close i'll close this okay i'll make a new tab and that will be a post and i'll make request localhost hello ca localhost uh, do we have something called create post localhost create post yeah and in order to create for post first we need to log in right then only we will get the token right so we can first we need to log in so i'll be log signing in so inside this header i need to write uh, content content type and application json okay and yeah inside this body i can select raw and i can log in with the email email what was the email so let me copy that right these two thefts two thing control c and control v okay so let's make a network request now here we got the token right we got the token control c now i can make a get request to localhost uh my post right my post and uh yeah i think for now i don't need to add a header because we haven't made this required so uh, i think in order to view this uh, i need to make this uh, also a require a uh, protected right protected so then only we will be able to access the user with this requ in request dot user right then only we will be able to access uh this then only if we will be able to access this request dot user so we need to make this also required login protected so we need to make this out also protected because if we will not make this protected then we will not be able to access this request dot user right okay so i'll save this okay so again here i'll be writing authorization and b e a r e r b r r and the, i can paste the token here yeah i think this is it and this is just a get request okay so let's cross our finger and let's make a request so we should be able to see only the one post okay so okay we have so we are getting a my post with the empty array because i think we haven't created a post right we haven't created a post yeah so let's create a for post first create post and in the body we can create post i can select raw yeah that is why it was showing an error okay maybe title with uh, i need to write title in quotes t i t l e title amazing title amazing new title new t i t l e title and body b o t y body new body like so 
okay let's make a network request cannot oh it is a get request so i need to make it to post okay let's do that please add all the fields title body what else we need in here i think these were the only two fields i i, I need to add a content type as well so nt nt content type and application json okay let's do this one more time and here you can see we have successfully posted right our first post with this amazing title and the body with the new body and now we can make a get request to my post in order to view my post my post okay now uh, error cannot get my post let's do this one more time cannot get my post let me see what was the route handler my post okay just my post we don't need an s in here okay my post let's save this here you can see we are getting only the one post right one post because we have created only one post with that user but we have lot of post in our database right we have lot of post created by two different user right but we are getting only the post uh, right we have this three records but we are getting only this one right which is created by a new user right here you can see the id of this and this are different but here this and these two id are different because uh, one user has created these two posts but other user created has created just this post okay so yeah this is how all things are working in here i know i made this video very long but okay yeah you understood right how things are working right Okay, so I will see you guys in the next video. We will be continuing further in the next video. So, bye-bye.